Shalom, Shalom again, people. We are Israel united in Christ. What are we out here teaching you? We are teaching that you so-called Jamaicans, you are not Jamaicans. You are the children of Israel That's that the right. Bible speaks about. And we are going to prove that from the Bible. So my brother asked a question a while ago. He said that we are all Africans. Now are we Africans? Because on the continent of Africa, all black people are not from the same race. Give me Exodus 11 verse 7. Because guess what? The Egyptians, they are black people. They had us in slavery. A lot of our people want to be Egyptians. So they're walking around with Ankh. You understand them, my brother? So listen to this. Listen to this. Exodus 11 verse 7. The book of Exodus 11 and verse 7. But again, any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. So this is what God was telling us. Against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Read. Against man or beast. Against man or beast. Read. That he may know how that the, the Lord thy God, the Lord that put a difference between Egypt, the Egyptians and Israel. Read. So God put a difference between the Egyptian and the Israelite. Read it again. The book of Exodus 11 and verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. God is the God of Israel. Right. He said against the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. Read. Against man or beast. Against man, not even our animals they were allowed to talk against. Read. That he may know how that the Lord doth put a difference between the Egyptians and Israel. So God put a difference between the Egyptian and the Israelites. Because my brother, sir, bro, before you move on, I want to show you something. The Egyptians, they are black people as well. But guess what they think? They think every black people is from the same race. No! Ask the question, my brother. Wrong, because the represents life. So the brother said, is the unk wrong? Because the ankh represent life. Psalm 96 verse 5. Yes, the ankh is pure garbage. Because guess what? Ankh is from who? Is that from Israel or from Egypt? From who? Ankh is from Egypt. You are a son of God. In fact, Psalms, Psalms 82. Since you're in Psalms, go to Psalms 82 and verse 6. Let's see what God says about the Israelites. Read. The book of Psalms 82 and verse 6. I have said, ye are gods. What did God say? Ye are gods. The Egyptians and their angst, they are not gods. The Israelites, you are the children of God. You so-called Jamaican men. My brother with a white man around his neck. That is not Christ. That's right. You're walking around in idolatry. Read it again. I have said, ye are gods. And all of you are children of the most high. You are literally a son of God. The Egyptians are not children of God. You are a child of God. Read. But he shall die like men. We become dead. We die like men. Because guess what? We break the commandments of God. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. So I'm going to show you. Are we making this up? My sister, have you ever heard that you're an Israelite? No, but I'm going to prove something and then I'm going to take your next question. Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But this shall come to pass if thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God to observe, to do all his commandments. My brother, sir, come here, one minute. I have to show you this. I can't let you walk off and show you this. I'll back up 2 and 8. Because he said something about the anchor a while ago. That is an idol. An anchor is an idol. Habakkuk 2 and verse 8. Listen to this. Verse 18. The book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 18. What profited the graven image that the breaker thereof hath graven it? The mountain image and a teacher of lies. A teacher of what? A teacher of lies. The aunt is a teacher of lies. That around your neck, my brother. That's a teacher of lies. Because you know what that teaches? That teaches that this is Christ. That's a teacher of lies. So you have a lot of black men walking around with a white man on their neck thinking they are walking around serving God. You are destroyed and that's a teacher of lies. Read it again. This is what the Bible is saying. The book of Habakkuk 2 and verse 18. What profiteth the graven image that the 
maker thereof have graven it, the molten image, and a teacher of lies. That cross around your neck, it is a teacher of lies. There's never any white man that died for a black man's life or salvation. Furthermore, Jesus the Christ is a black man. John 7 verse um, 38. If you speak Hebrew, you could say his name is Yahshua. If you speak Spanish, you might pronounce it in a different language. However, we speak English, so in the English pronunciation, it is Jesus. You understand that, my brother? Read. The book of John 7 and verse 38. He that believeth on me has the scripture and said, So my brother, the brother asked me about an uncle a while ago. Uncle is from Egypt, right? Are you an Egyptian? You're an Israelite. You're an Israelite. So when you're rocking an unk, you're really rocking something from another race. Those people are your people in slavery for over 400 years. But it's the same thing today. The white man has us in slavery. He raped. He raped. He murdered. He killed millions. We all don't know that. Bring it out. What's the difference between Christians and Israelites? Get me Deuteronomy 10 and 12. So we're going to show you the difference between Christians and Israelites. My brother, before I get 2 Corinthians 11 and 4, Deuteronomy 10 and 12 right now. Get that? So we're going to show you the key difference, my sister. Watch this. Because did God give us religion? God gave us, did God give us Christianity? Christianity is white supremacy. That's right. Jesus Christ is a black man. You're not Jamaicans, but you're the Israelites. God gave you laws, statutes, and commandments to keep. Listen to this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 10 and verse 12. And know, Israel, what doth the Lord thy God require of thee? Know, Israel, what does God require of us? Because we have high crime rate. We have so-so. We don't let a murder. Young girls going missing. So my sister, what does God require of you? Sir, listen. What does God require of you? Read. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and, and with all thy soul. To keep the commandments of the Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. Christianity don't teach you God commandments. Christianity in fact tell you that you are saved by grace. You don't have to do any commandments. Now I'm going to show you a commandment. Leviticus 19 verse 17. Christianity is white supremacy. And it's in fact of the devil. That's right. has nothing to do with the Bible. Because there is nothing in the Bible that they actually do. But listen to this. Read. The book of Leviticus 19 and verse 17. So my brother, this is a law. Sister, I'm going to show you a law as well. Listen, read. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. That's a law that would benefit us. This is what you should teach your sons and your daughters. Your brother is going into your race because you hear about things like black and black crime. What about white and white crime? Chinese and Chinese crime? Arab and Arab crime? No. We kill our people more than anyone else. That's why you hear about black and black crime. And listen to this. Read again. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt not in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So we are supposed to rebuke our neighbor, meaning what? I see my sister right now. I'm going to show you Nehemiah 10.31. I'm going to show you something I'm going to have to show for her. And Deuteronomy 22 and 5 as well. I'm not going to let you leave yet, man. I want to show you something because I tell you you're an Israelite, right? How would you prove that you're an Israelite from the word of God? So the brother is asking me, and this is how destroyed we are as a people, because guess who we worship? We follow Egyptians, we follow the white man, and some brothers follow the Ethiopian man. So the question is, what about the Rastafarian? Is he worshipping God? He's worshipping an Ethiopian man. Why is it that we have gods that don't look like us? So I said, love is his religion, right? So you believe that. That sounds nice and loving. But do we love each other? We don't love each other. Because what? We think love is some emotions and feeling. But let's see what God says love is. Listen to this, my brother. The book of 1 John 5 and verse 3. For this is the love of God. This is the love of God. This is what it means to love God. Read. That we keep his commandments. That we what? Keep his commandments. That is how you show love. You keep that commandments is love. Thou shalt not commit adultery. If you love your brother, you will sleep with your brother's wife. Thou shalt not steal. If you love your brother, you are not going to rob from.
murder my brother. Thou shall not kill. If you love your brother, you will not murder your brother. Thou shall not be a false witness. If you love your brother, you will not tell lies on your brother. You understand that, my sister? Exodus 22, verse 5. Love, it, love is the laws of God. And you're not keeping the laws of God, my brother. So can I prove it to you? Listen to this. I'm going to show this sister a lot of love right now. No, man, I'm going to show you some love right now, sis. Deuteronomy 22, verse 5. Listen to this, my sister. The book of Deuteronomy 22. 22, right? 22. Because a lot of our people know what we love to do. We profess with our lips. We like to say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Oh, he's in my heart. I love God. But they don't do anything that God says to them. That is not love. That's lip service. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. So God said, we're not, it's a, come, sister, move, man. Come here. It's not somebody who's showing you. Because guess what? God, you believe there's a God, sis? There is only one God, right? You believe the Bible is the word of God. Now listen to what God is telling you. So that's why we're teaching you. Because you may not, you didn't know. Most of us here, we were in, in foolishness as well. I want to get me titles three and three after this. But finish with this first. Listen to this, sis. Deuteronomy. Chapter 22 and verse 5. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. But all that do so are abomination unto the Lord thy God. All that do so is what? It's an abomination unto the Lord thy God. So you understand that, my sister? So God is saying, if, you are, if a woman is wearing what belongs to a man, and a man is wearing what belongs to a woman, in the eyes of God, that is an abomination. So you might believe, okay, I'm fine with God. But God is looking on you and he's saying that's abomination. But most people don't know the type of God that we serve. They think that God is just, he doesn't have any laws. And God don't listen to sinners. Meaning if you're deliberately going against the laws of God. Because what is being pushed on the earth? At no point in history, there's never been so much black homosexuals. Because guess what? The men are now becoming effeminate. Years ago, our sisters didn't wear pants. So let me show you, we're not mocking you. But listen to this, read the book of Titus 2. The book of Titus 3 and verse 3. For we ourselves also, we ourselves also, all of us here, we were one time in Christianity. We were one time following Rastafarianism. We ourselves also, read. For we ourselves also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, deceived. We were also deceived. So if you want to know the truth, we have to come to the words of God. So my sister, do you know what your nationality is according to the Bible? There are 18 races of people in the Bible. Which one do you belong to? You belong to Judah. So your father, you're looking at the sign right here, so you see yourself on the sign. Your father is from American black. So your father, where are your father from? Yes. From Clarendon, so he will be on this sign. Where do you see him on this sign? My brother, where do you see yourself on this sign? So where do you see yourself on this sign? West Indies. That's what they call Jamaica. We're in the West Indies. That's the area that they put us in. Because there were many slave ships. Some slave ships stop in America. Some stop in the region they call the Caribbean. Some stop in Brazil. Some go in North America. We were scattered over the entire planet Earth. Do you think that is documented in the Bible, sis? Where do they take us from? Good question, my brother, I have. Because they took us from the west coast of Africa. So, holy, sir, my brother. So, let me show you something that they don't teach you. Because I asked you what your nationality is. What do you say your nationality is? Negro. That's what they call us. My brother behind the sister. Spurring the red shirt. What is your nationality? So you're learning. All right, I'm going to show you something. My sister. Sis. I sir, look at this as well. You as well, my brother. Watch this. Give me Deuteronomy 28 and 1. Deuteronomy 1 and 1. Because are we out here speaking our own words? We're going to prove to you that the Bible is a true book. It's a real book. And guess what? It belongs to you. We have been reading about ourselves for years and we didn't know it's our ancestors were reading about. Watch this, Deuteronomy 101. The book of Deuteronomy 1 and verse 1. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Who is Moses speaking to? All Israel. Who is Moses speaking to? All Israel. Who did Moses speak to? The Israelites.
Israelites, the Israelites, the Israelites. Now listen to what Moses is telling the Israelites, 28 verse 15. Listen to what Moses is telling the Israelites. Because there are over 18 races in the Bible. There are 18, my sister, don't get distracted. Sis, listen as well. There are 18 races in the Bible. You look alike for real. But let me show you this. Watch this. Read. The book. Listen to what Moses is telling the Israelites. Read. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass. It shall come to pass. This is going to happen in the future. Read. If thou will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, if you don't listen to what God is telling you to do, you find what God wants you to do written in this book. If you don't listen to the voice of the Lord your God, read. To observe, to do all his commandments. Command. So you're supposed to observe and do. Observe and do all his commandments. Now we're going to prove that the Bible is a real book. Touch your sister. Sis, don't get distracted. Listen, read. All his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So he says you're going to get these curses. Verse 32. Let's look at one of the curses. Read. 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. Your children, they're going to be given unto another people. Meaning what? Your children is going to be given unto another race of people. What is your last name? Think about that. I'm going to show you another curse. Verse 48. Verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. You are going to serve. Did it say your friends? Read it again for the sister. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 48. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies. My brother, who did he say you're going to serve? Your enemies. Read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. And God send his enemy against us. Read. In hunger and in thirst and in nakedness. If you want food, if you want water, if you need clothes, read. And in and in want of all things. All things. If you need religion, if you need education, anything you need, you're going to serve your enemy. Now it's going to specify which enemy. Read. And ye shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. This is what the Bible is talking about. He is going to put yokes of iron upon your neck. Yokes of iron. Who did this happen to? Us. Not black race. Israelites. Israelites had yokes of iron on their necks. Read on. Yokes of iron upon your neck. Until he have destroyed thee. Until when? Until he have destroyed thee. Meaning when they take the yoke of iron from your neck, you're going to be walking around. I'm a Jamaican, I'm an Egyptian, I'm an Ethiopian, the white man is God, I'm a slave, I'm a nobody, I'm going to bleach my face, I'm going to act like a man, you're going to be destroyed. Look at the music we produce, we, do, we, we hate ourselves, we don't love ourselves, but yet still we are bright, we are physically strong, but God says, when the yoke of iron comes from off your neck, you would be destroyed. Listen, read. The Lord shall. I'm going to show you another curse. So one curse is. I'm going to show you the blessing as well. Because guess what? Everything. Go to verse 45. Let me show the sister some blessing. It's Deuteronomy 28 45. So the sister asks, What about the blessing? Yes, man. Because those servants are the Lord. shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of the Lord thy God to keep his commandments and his statutes which he command thee. 47. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things. Believe it or not, you are God's children. When he said he didn't serve him for the abundance of all things, everything on the planet Earth was created for us. All we had to do was keep God's commandments. God says, don't kill each other. We bear that. God says, don't commit adultery. We bear that. So he said, if we did, sister, so this is the blessing. The abundance of all things. The bees, the bird, the sun, the moon, the stars. Everything on the planet Earth is created for you. You are God's children. But listen to what happened to us. Verse 68. 
A sister Domo, listen to this. Listen to this. I tell you if you can relate to this. 28 verse 68. Listen. My brother, listen as well. You listen. Listen, my sisters. Listen. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. So God says he's going to take you back into Egypt. Because we were slaves in Egypt, right? We were building up Pharaoh temple and pyramids. We were in slavery for over 400 years in Egypt. So he's saying, I'm going to take you back into Egypt. But let's see what Egypt means. Exodus 20 verse 2. You still remember that, read. The book of Exodus 20 and verse 2. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Egypt means house of bondage. God says he's going to bring you back. Go to 68 now. Egypt means house of bondage. House of bondage. So he took us from bondage. He's not going to bring us back into bondage. But listen to this. Verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You are going to go back into bondage again. Let me ask you a question. How did our ancestors get over here? Did we take a plane? Did we walk? By ship. How did we get here, my brother? My sister, how did our ancestors get here? By ship. We are going to be celebrating Emancipation Day next month. That show that Ministry of Education is garbage because we don't even know our history. We came over here in slave ships. Let's see if that's documented in the Bible. Read it again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. You're going to go back into bondage again. Slavery again. How? With ships. With what? With ships. You're going to go back into slavery again with ships. This is Bible prophecy. Let me tell my brother. This is Bible prophecy. How much of us who died on the slave ship? Over 200 million died going back and forth. But you don't learn about that. So what are we celebrating emancipation from? Because this is love. We're teaching our people your true biblical nationality. You're going to go back into slavery again with ships, with ships. So what are we proving? We're reading the Bible and we're proving that you are Israelites. Read on. By the way we're up, with ships, by the way we're up, I spoke unto thee. Thou shalt see it no more again. You're not going to see your country anymore again. Because a lot of us think that Jamaica is our land of rest. You're not from Jamaica. The Arab man, the so-called Jewish man, who is the devil, they're fighting over your land. Jerusalem is your country. That's Read on. Right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. You're going to, do you hear that word again? You're going to be sold unto who? <laughs> your enemy. So that's not your friends we were sold to. We were not sold to our friends. But guess what our enemy taught us? Our enemy taught us this. And tomorrow morning, a lot of our people, they're going to be packed in the churches. They're going to be worshipping the same lie that was taught to them in slavery. Therefore, you're going to serve your enemies. Read. For bondman, for slave man. My brother, listen this up again. We're going to show you that we're not making it up. You're going to serve him for bondman and for slave man. Read. Therefore shall thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall sing against thee. In 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see no more again. So we're not going to see our homeland anymore again. But listen to this. And there he shall be sold. When you get off the slave ship, there you're going to be sold. This is a sign. Come here, my brother. Sister, come look here. I want you to look at this. Come here, man. Come here, come here. My sister, come and look at this. Let's see what this sign is saying. This is Bible prophecy. It says when you get off the slave ship, there you're going to be sold. This is an actual photograph. To be sold, a cargo of 94 prime healthy Negroes consisting of 39 men, 15 boys, 24 women, and 16 girls. There, once you get off the slave ship, what are we reading? The Bible. Read 68 from the top for these sisters. They didn't hear before. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68. 
and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt means bondage. The children of Israel were slaves in Egypt. God says, I'm going to put you back into bondage again. This time you're going to go into it with ships. These are the ships he's speaking about. You're going to go back in slavery and cargo slave ships. Read on. By the way, we're up. I spake unto thee. The same way you read it in the scriptures is the exact same way it happened. Go. Thou shalt see no more again. You're not going to see your homeland anymore again. Africa is not your motherland. Jamaica is not your motherland. But we need to go back to our country again. Read on. And there he shall be sold. When you get off of those ship, you're going to be sold. Nico, Nico, Nico for sale. Nico, Nico, sold to Master Johnson. That's how you get your surname, Johnson. Nico, 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 sold to Master Smith. That's how you get your surname, Smith. You're going to be sold unto who? Unto your enemies. Does friend put friends in slavery, sis? Friends wouldn't put another friend in slavery. An enemy would keep you in slavery for hundreds of years. Rape, rape, murder, and then give you idols to worship. You're going to serve your enemy, read, for bondmen, meaning slave men, and bond women. Read. And no man shall buy you. You are bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning no man is going to redeem us. Marcus Garvey tried. Sam Sharp tried. None of the Maroon tried. But we are still in captivity. King, hate. And verse 46. If they sin against me, because we sin against God, King David is a black man. King Solomon is a black man. He's a man after God's own heart. Because guess what? King David didn't turn to idolatry. When David sinned against God, what did David did? Psalm 51, he, he, he said, prepare me a clean heart. Because he acknowledged his sin. He confessed that he sinned and he turned back to God. Now King Solomon is a prophet. He saw us here today. He could see the future. God showed him what would happen. And listen to what he wrote down. Read. 46. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. So he knows none of us don't be, we, we exist within the sin. Read on. And thou be angry with them. God get angry with us. Because he's seen his beautiful children living like niggers. We are whoring out ourselves. We are committing all manner of murder and our wickedness. So we are seen. But listen to this, my sister. I want to let you speak. Listen to this first. Read. And deliver them to the enemy. And deliver them to who? To the enemy. My brother. Who did the Bible say we get delivered to? The enemy. Read on. So that they carry them away captives. So the enemy is going to take us and carry us away captive. Read. Unto the land of the enemy. Far and near. We were carried to Jamaica in slave ship. We were carried from the west coasts of Africa to Jamaica. So we were taken to another land. Read. 47. Yet, if they shall bethink themselves, if you can bethink, to bethink means to remember. Remember who you are. Like we, when we woke up, we know we realize who we are. So you know what we're doing? We're now teaching you your true nationality according to the Bible. That's right. You should go around call yourself, I'm proud to be Jamaican. You're not Jamaican. You're an Israelite. That's if they right. ask you, what's my nationality? Israelite. Because right. right. Jamaica is a byword. The slave master said, no, you're not Israel. You're Jamaican. No, you're not Israel. You're Trinidadian. No, you're not Israel. You're African-American. When Jesus died, in a day for everybody, Israelite, Jamaican, everybody. Matthew 15, 24. Bring it out. So the sister said, when Jesus died, did he not die for everybody? Everybody. So he forgot about the Israelites. No, he doesn't. He forgot about the Israelites. Because the Israelites were not chosen people. Just remember, so when Jesus died, he cleansed all and rest. All right, so let me ask you a question, my sister. Do you believe the Bible? I want to read something out of the Bible. You believe the words of Jesus Christ. My sister right here, do you believe the words of Jesus Christ? Do you believe the words of Jesus Christ? Now listen to this. We're going to read what Jesus Christ says out of his own mouth. Re listen. The book of Matthew 15 and verse 24. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Read it one more time. The book of Matthew 15 and verse 24. 
But he answered and said, I am not sent. This is Christ speaking. Christ is telling you something important. He's saying, I am not sent. God sent Christ. Now Christ is going to tell you who God sent him for. Let's see if he says, God sent me for everybody. These are Christ's words we're reading. Read on. I am not sent, but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Unto all nations. House of Israel. Christ is the king of the Israelites. He's your king. Book 1 and verse 68. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You hear it again, my sister? God is the God of Israel. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel. You so-called Jamaican, you're an Israelite, my brother. So that's what we're teaching you. Read, listen to this. Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for he hath visited and redeemed his people. He's going to redeem. He's going to save. He's going to buy back. He's going to take back his people. Read. And have raised up an horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. Christ is from the seed of David. So he raised up Christ to save us. Read. And he spared by the mouth of his holy prophets which have been since the world begun that we should be saved that we Israelites you so called Jamaican you are the children of Israel that we should be saved read from our enemies we have enemies we, the white man is not your friend according to the Bible your enemy put yokes of iron on your neck Matthew 15 verse 24 when you get it, my sister, I want you to read it for us. So you see, we're not making up Bible prophecy. Right. That we should be safe from the hands of our enemy. Read on. And from the hand of all that hate us. They don't love us, my sister. If you watch the news, you're seeing police in the United States shooting men down with their hands up. There are more black men in prison. After slavery, they promised that they would give you 40 acres of land and a mule. Right. So I want to let the sister read something for you. Read for us Matthew 15, verse 24. But, but he answered and said, I am not sent, but unto the last sheep of the house of Israel. That's right. That's what Christ says. He's not sent, but unto, meaning what? I am not sent only unto the last sheep of the house of Israel. That's how special you are. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. Because we don't really, like, we have no self-esteem. So we want everybody to be saved. No! They're going to pay for their crime. The wages of sin is death. So we're going to teach you, my sister, do you know that you're an Israelite? My sister, since we are, do you know that you're an Israelite? Well, listen to this. My sister, I want you to hear this as well. Read it. The book of Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. So God is telling us something. Even though you see we're acting like Negroes, God is telling you you are the sons and daughters of God. Everybody is not children of God. But listen to this, my sister. He says, you, 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 you are holy people. You, my brother, you are holy people. Read. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. Whoa, did you hear that, my brother, my sister? Let's just take it for the sister. What did God do? Deuteronomy 7 and verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God has chosen thee. God chose the children of Israel. Read. To be a special people unto himself. God wants you to be a people unto himself. But well, let's see what he did with the other people. Read on. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. He wants you to be above did it say below? All right. Who is the other people in that's where we are above? Second Ezra 654. So the sister is asking, who are the other people that we are going to be above of? He says the Israelites should be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Meaning what? We keep the commandments of God. We are going to be setting the standard on this planet earth. We are going to teach people what true love is. We're going to understand what it means for a child to honor their mother and father. We're going to learn how a man should treat his wife, how a wife should deal with her husband, because God gave us all of that in his law. Now my sister asks, what about the other?
of our people. Listen to this, sis. The book of 2nd Ezra, verse 6, 6 and verse 53, 54. And after these, Adam also, whom thou madest Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all. Everybody on the planet Earth today comes from Adam. Read on. And the people also whom thou hast chosen. So everybody comes from Adam and the Israelite. So out of everybody, God chose Israel. Read on. Fifty-five. All this have I spoken before thee, O Lord, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Whoa, 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 what? Because thou madest the world for our sakes. So you see your son, sis? God made this new earth for your son to be a ruler upon the earth. God made the son for your children, your sons, to be rulers upon the earth. The world was made for our sakes. We done. 56. As for the other people, as for the other people, because a lot of times we want to concern about the other people. They abuse us. And I want to get Deuteronomy 28 for the tree. As for the other people, read on. Thou has said that they which also come of Adam. Which us read it again. Verse 6. As for the other people which also come of Adam, thou hast said that they are nothing. What did God say? Thou has said that they are nothing. What did God say about the white man? They are nothing. The Arab man? They are nothing. The African man? They are nothing. The Chinese man? They are nothing. Hello, I'm Israel. I'm Elton Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets out. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.